Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McG. Happy New Year to you. We've got some December 2021 pickups here, and as promised, it's going to be a doozy here. Some of these I didn't want to show you back in November. Maybe they were Black Friday pickups or not, but otherwise, they were probably going to be for one of my son's birthdays and, of course, for Christmas. I'm always happy to do these videos, and you know what? Some users, just like DK, has told me that these are actually some of the favorite videos. I don't mind doing these videos. In fact, I like watching them myself. I see other YouTubers like Metal Jesus, Clint from Lazy Game Reviews doing their thrift pickups, Pat Contry doing the Flea Market Madness. So I like sharing with you what I find. Of course, just know that your buddy Svenny here pretty humble guy. This isn't a huge flex thing. We're not showcasing, well, look, we spent money here. In fact, if you know me, you'll know I'm a pretty frugal guy when it comes to collecting. But I wouldn't have all this stuff if I went and spent brand new $90 off the shelf every game that came out. So what I like to do is look for a good deal, and when they come up, I jump on it, and I found quite a few good deals over the holidays. So let's jump in and check them out. Now, first things first, with that little disclaimer there, Christmas is certainly a, a time where it gets really expensive for a lot of people. You start to watch that budget, and yet sometimes some deals that are too good to be true came, just like this GameCube lot that I found. So of course there was this Platinum GameCube with a black official GameCube memory card. Came with a couple third-party controllers. Now the cube was awesome, but it's the lot that came with it here. A couple loose ones here. This is James Bond 007 Nightfire and Tony Hawk's Underground. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 was here, complete in package. There was other games like Shrek 2, Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. And if these aren't floating your boat yet, just keep waiting. The Sims busting out. ATV 2, quad power racing. SpongeBob SquarePants, creature from the Krusty Krab. Wow, tongue twister. Sonic Heroes, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider legend. Love picking up these compilations as you've seen in some of my other videos. This is Midway Arcade Treasures 2. So of course this has things like Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Spy Hunter 2, Narc, Primal Rage, Hard Driving, Total Carnage, and many others. Rampage, Total Destruction, Ultimate Spider-Man, and some of the ones that really made my eyebrow rise. Super Mario Strikers, Metroid Prime, and finally, Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure. Really excited to get this one. I don't have it. I want to jump in. Maybe we can convince the whole family but definitely me and my boys. Now an awesome piece of that GameCube lot, in the picture you could see it, and I knew right away, I was like, I have to grab this. A dongle for the WaveBird. Now if you're unfamiliar, the WaveBird was an official Nintendo wireless GameCube controller. It's got the GameCube port on the back. Now I do have a WaveBird with dongle, but years ago at a Goodwill in the, in the US, I found a WaveBird controller for like $2 but missing the dongle. So when I saw that this was included, Sans Wavebird, I was like, I have to get this lot. I'm gonna get the Zelda, I'm gonna get Metroid, some cool games in there, but I have to get this to get the dongle. If you wanna burst my bubble, tell me they're not gonna pair up or something because it's proprietary, something in the comments below, go ahead and do that. But I'm hoping, praying, and fully expecting that if I just put them both on the right channel, they should pick up and I should be in action here with two fully functional Wavebirds by grabbing this, so very cool. The wife and I were out doing some Christmas shopping. I saw this, boom, had to grab this right away. Adam West's Batcave Assembly Kit. This is from McFarland. I think I'm gonna do an unboxing and put this one together here. I can't wait, this is awesome. So some of those Christmas ones that I had that I didn't yet show you guys from November, this is still from Black Friday pickups. This is Sega Genesis Classics. This is on the PS4. I told you my boys were starting to get into Kingdom Hearts. And last month showed you that we had the musical entry on the Nintendo Switch. Here I got the actual Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 for the PlayStation 4. This again was one of those sales. I thought it'd be a great way to just plug it in, play all the entry. I do have those remasters and I have actually most of the games singular, but awesome to have them all in one place. Six plus games all on one console, and we can jump in and get right into the story. This was another one on sale at GameStop. This is the Doom 3 VR edition for the PlayStation VR. You guys know by now I love filling up on those VR games, and guess what? This isn't where it stopped. This is the last of the Black Friday ones I got. Grab this for the boys. I saw some reviews. I saw even our friends over at ITG talking about this. Hot Wheels Unleashed. I got this for the Switch. It's a beauty game. If you haven't checked it out, look at some reviews fast-paced racing, you have a track editor. It did some really cool stuff. Even with the physics, when you bump cars, you lose paint on it. If your car rolls, you can read the bottom of the car just like toys. Awesome. 
And we've been saying, of course, a lot, we've been playing lots of Fortnite. So my son got this for Christmas. This is the Minty Legends pack. So it's a couple of different characters, different items, different add-ons there. Just some of the skins and also some V-Bucks there. If you're unfamiliar how these actually work, of course, inside there is no actual cartridge. You just get like a download code here. And that's how you register it through the Fortnite game. So that's all it is. Another local seller was selling a whack of 3DS and DS games. And I grabbed a bunch. Some of them to kind of put out for Christmas, but also some of them just to stock up the library. But these came in November. This is Big Hero 6 on the Nintendo DS. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs on the DS. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 on the 3DS. Wreck-It Ralph 3DS. More 3DS titles here. We've got Lego the Movie Game. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Universe in Peril. Resident Evil Revelations. Super Mario 3D Land. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Pokemon Sun and Super Mario Maker 3DS. Now I showed you in November, I had picked up a copy of Minecraft 3DS, but guess what? I actually grabbed a second copy of Minecraft 3DS after the conventions because I found that, hey, we can actually cross play these using the Nintendo Link. So I picked up a second copy so my boys can play together. And in fact, I've played with my son and we've had a great time with it. So very cool. I'd like to showcase that in an upcoming video. Okay, now like I said, at Christmas time, everybody's trying to run a budget. Gifts are flying around there. And yet, for years, our local pawn shops have been running these absolute banger sales. A local one actually does 50% off all of their games, and another one does 25% off. Prices vary between the two, but I'm telling you, it's a great way to find some great titles and build up a library. You're going to see a lot of games now from modern back to retro, and let's jump in. These are all pawn shop pickups. So for starters, I got Injustice 2 and Battlefield 1, both of these on the Xbox One. On the DS, I got Feel the Magic from Sega. This looks like it's a series of mini games. It looks like it's gonna be some silly Sega fun. Professor Layton, Unwound Future. I played at least one entry in the Layton games. I thought it was fantastic. I do have many of them, but I didn't have this one, so I grabbed it. On the PlayStation 1, I grabbed Pro Pinball, Big Race USA. It looks like it's just gonna be a pinball game. Razor Racing. This looks like it's a scooter racing game. Project Overkill. Have you played this one? It looks pretty cool for a PlayStation 1 game. Looks like it's kind of a isometric walk around shooter. Let me know in the comments below. Had to grab this one. Loved this game. Beat it probably about 15 years ago. Looking forward to playing it again. Spider-Man on the PlayStation. I have this on the Nintendo 64. You have to play it on the PlayStation. I believe also on the Dreamcast. Of course, the Nintendo 64 didn't have enough storage space to render all of the cinematic scenes. So they're presented to you like stills, like a comic book. But this is the this is the must grab. If you have any way to play it, PlayStation. On the Nintendo Wii, I grabbed Bakugan, Defenders of the Core. My son's pretty been pretty fascinated with this. We've actually given this a try and it's pretty cool. Pacific Liberator. Have you played this one? Looks like you're flying around in the cockpit of a helicopter shooting stuff. Thought it looked pretty cool. ESP titles. I grabbed FIFA Soccer 09, Pro Evolution Soccer 2008. Bakugan, Defenders of the Core, because again, why not? And Ben 10, Alien Force. And we tried this one. PSP's awesome. Again, you got full video, sprawling around in a brawler type. PlayStation 3 titles. I showed you recently, I just got a couple of the Move controllers, so I want to get into that aspect, check them out. So I did find some like Sorcery, The Lord of the Rings, Aragorn's Quest. Why did I say it like that? and Resistance 3. Now this one does support the move, but of course you can use standard controls. On the original Xbox, I grabbed Unreal Championship. And this one I'd never heard about, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Graphically, I thought it looked great, and yet I know really nothing about it. So if you've played this one or you're familiar with it, please let me know. Now I did a recent video on the backwards compatibility, the Xbox One, all disc consoles, and the Xbox Series X with the 360 and the Xbox, original Xbox. So I found some more compatible titles that were not included in that video that I'm gonna showcase now. And I've already uploaded these to my Xbox One. The Darkness 2, First Encounter Assault Recon, Fear. And actually, in addition to Fear, I did grab Fear 2, Fear 3, and Fear Files. All four of these Fear games are compatible with the Xbox One and the Series X. And rounding it out, I got Dead Space 3. Kind of a lot of spooky games. I don't really play spooky games, but hey, let's try them out. 
and now even scarier with graphical upgrades. Okay, I'm gonna hit you with some PlayStation 4 titles and then we're gonna go full retro and then some peripherals, so keep with me here. And if you're enjoying this so far, please consider liking and subscribing. On the PlayStation 4, I found Infamous Second Son, Rise of the Tomb Raider Limited Edition. This one is pretty sweet. It actually has like a little booklet here included with it. And if you're unfamiliar, I don't believe it's the full game, but there are some missions on here that are VR capable. So again, love that VR. Looking forward to trying that out. And if you don't believe me, I also found the following VR titles. Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruins. Killing Floor Double Feature. Now this has Killing Floor 2 and Killing Floor Incursion on it. VR game Gollum. Gun Grave VR. Now this is the Loaded Coffin Edition. So it says it includes episode two and boasts that it's two games in one. And No Man's Sky. Now this says PlayStation VR because eventually it did get that support. It contains all seven major updates. So piece it together and you're flying through space in VR. Looking forward to it. And another game with support, Moto Racer 4. And you can rip around playing this standard, but there are some portions and aspects that you can play with VR. I saw this title at Clearance forever at most major retail places. Finally, I found it. It was like a whole whopping buck 50 here. That's you. Now this is one of those ones where you actually download the app on your phone and people can go ahead and make their guesses. Looks like a fun party game. Looking forward to checking it out. Sniper Elite Ultimate Edition. Not always crazy for these shooter games, but you know what? It says it's 3D compatible. I have a 3D compatible television down here. Worth checking it out. Now I have copies of the Mass Effect trilogy. In fact, I have it on the PlayStation and I have all three titles on the Xbox, which are currently next in line to be uploaded on my Xbox One because they are backwards compatible. So I did find Mass Effect Andromeda for a good price and I thought I would go ahead check that out on the PlayStation 4. And rounding out the pawn shop pickups here, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I showed you last month, I just picked up the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Uh, that was the game of the year edition that had all the DLC on it. But this one here again was going for a pretty good price of about 30 bucks. And I wanted to be able to have it so that when I finish the one, I can jump right into the other. So here it is. This is Jeopardy Sports Edition. Found this on the Sega Genesis. NHL 99 from the Nintendo 64, also for the N64, NFL Quarterback Club 2000. Super Nintendo titles. Now again, these are not all going to be the ones that are going to make your, your eyes pop. And some you might think, oh boy, you just grab some filler because you grab some sports titles. But you know what? I love sports titles, love adding to these collections. And you know what? If it's only like a few dollars, in these case, like I said, I'm literally talking like two, three dollars a game here. So I grabbed Super Caesars Palace. Super Baseball Simulator 1000, Vegas Stakes, and Super High Impact. On the original NES, I got Anticipation. This is actually from Rare, and I'm surprised to see that this wasn't on Rare Replay. This actually would work with the four score, so you could actually have four separate controllers here, or I believe there's a way that you can actually pass the controller around to different people. It boasts itself as Nintendo's first video board game. Have you played this? Let me know. All right, and I thought I'd go to this overhead format for a second here to show you a couple loose cards. So this is Army Corps of Hell for the PlayStation Vita. On the Nintendo 3DS, I got Beyblade Evolution. A couple different Game Boy, Game Boy Color titles here. So I got Racing Rats. This is Tyco RC. Basically, you are just driving RC cars around the house. Bionic Battler. Have you seen this one before? Wasn't familiar with the title, but it's actually 3D perspective fighting. It's very cool. Hattress. I'd never heard of this game and it wasn't until I actually booted it up that I said holy moly it's literally Hat Tetris and I was surprised to see Alexei Pajanov's name on this. Creator of original Tetris. Wheel of Fortune. I teased this one on social media recently. So make sure you're following Svenny McG on all his other platforms. And some Sega Game Gear. I've got NFL 95. Again literally like 75 cents for this game so yeah, I'm going to grab it. And Poker Face Paul's Solitaire. I've never found Solitaire in any form of a gambling ring. So can someone please explain this, how this works? What type of Poker Face do you need to play in Solitaire, a single player game? I did a YouTube Shorts on this one recently, but I did get a Nintendo NES wallet. 
Make sure you check it out if you want to see what that's all about. But I got this for my wife for Christmas. Thanks, honey. Similarly, I did a video on this already. This is the Memorex Universal Game Selector for the Nintendo DS. And you know me and my Nintendo 64 stuff, so be sure to watch out for these. I grabbed a Quake Pack Super, a Performance Tremor Pack, and this Nameless Rumble Pack. Mm. And lastly, of all the items, again, going with that PlayStation Move, I found these two red and blue guns to support the move. Looking forward to checking these out and showcasing them in a future video. And one last item before the ball dropped on the ear was I grabbed an expansion. I hooked this up to my Xbox One. It's a four terabyte unit. And if you want to see the video on that, again, watch it on my channel. So again, all the best to you in this coming year. I hope you had a great holiday. I hope you're looking forward to the year ahead. It means the world to me that you guys watch these videos. And I appreciate everyone that likes and subscribes because you know it helps grow my channel. Till I see all of you again soon, I hope all of you take care and be good to each other. Bye now.